Good morning, everyone. Thank you all to attend this webinar. We will start in a few minutes. So, today, Yale Innovation and Teltonica will present you a focus on cold chain traceability and, more precisely, during transportation, storage, and distribution of vaccines. Here are some useful tips um, to make the webinar go well. So, first of all, the webinar will last for 45 minutes. We will answer your questions at the end of the session, but feel free to ask them during the presentation using the interface. Uh, a recording will be available after the webinar on our website and our YouTube channel. And finally, please keep your microphone on mute at all times. Our speakers for the day are Mr. Willy Lemercier from ELA Innovation, Dan Keras from Teltonica Telematics, Tadas Lintinxas from Teltonica Networks, and finally, Aspandas Dogeler from Teltonica SIS. So thank you, thank you all for your attention. Um, regarding the, the agenda of the, the few next minutes, um, we will start with a brief presentation of the two companies. Then we will talk about of the main challenges of coaching accessibility. Then Teltonica will present you its complete solution to secure transport and distribution of vaccines. And at the end, we will take a moment to answer your question. So now I leave the floor to Willy to introduce ELA Innovation. Um, so um, I just um, introduced by, uh, by saying you good morning or good afternoon. And uh, it's a great pleasure to present this uh, webinar with our partner Teltonica. So uh, in few words, just to present ELA Innovation. So ELA Innovation is a company which has been created 20 years ago. And from, um, from the beginning up to now, we are one of the persons that specialize on the development of wireless beacons and wireless sensor for industrial uh, IoT markets. So for uh, industrial player, industrial clients. Um, we, uh, we are experts in different technology. Historically, it was the active refinery, but now the focus is uh, mainly on the Bluetooth low energy. We have also a uh, um, product range based on the angle of arrival with Kuba partner for the indoor air TLS solution. We have also the mesh and technology for the indoor air TLS, but also for the sensor monitoring for indoor application. And uh, recently, we have introduced Flora One products. But um, whatever the technology that we can support and you know, what can develop the products, the main DNA of our development is based on the ultra low consumption. And uh, by this way, we can offer very long life cycle for wireless beacons or wireless sensor, up to 20 years, for instance, for the for the temperature sensor that you will see today for this. Uh, this webinar for, with, uh, for instance, the Blue T, uh, even with a transmission very, uh, very quick, uh, um, like every 10 seconds, for instance. Uh, ELA is more and more international uh, regarding our sales, but also regarding our footprint. We have three offices, one in France, where we have our headquarters, one in uh, Toronto, in Canada, one in Miami, in, uh, in USA. And we should open in Singapore uh, this year uh, a new office. Um, like you can, as you can see, uh, ELA Innovation uh, remain uh, an optimized company. We have 40 uh, people dedicated for the R&D, the marketing and sales. Uh, we are a fabulous company, and we um, we are really focused on the innovation by uh, investing 40% of revenue in the R&D uh, budget. And then um, the last but not the least, thanks to the end IoT uh, industrial IoT wave, industrial IoT markets, uh, we have um, very strong financial structure, very strong financial uh, results, with almost 300 percent growth over the past six years. So let me now uh, uh, Teltonica colleagues, uh, present Teltonica group before going to the team of this webinar. Thank you, Willie. Good day to you all. Let me introduce to you Teltonica briefly, who we are, what we do, and why you should pay attention. 
A Teltonica IoT group, we develop exceptional Internet of Things solutions worldwide. And today, over 13 million Teltonica IoT devices are already connected to the Internet and are expanding our business activity in telematics, networking, telemedicine, and original device manufacturing industries. And to maximize the value for business partners, customers, and society, Teltonica develops not only top quality hardware and firmware, but also advanced software tools and sophisticated solutions. Being fully committed to the key principles of trust, help, and value, we successfully collaborate with thousands of long-term business partners from over 180 countries around the globe. And that's it for now about Teltonica briefly. So, Willie, please take it over. Thank you. I hope that uh, the sound is okay now also. So the, um, the idea today for this webinar uh, was to focus on one of the most dynamic market for us, which is the cold chain possibility. So the cold chain possibility is of course simply to track and to guarantee that the temperature which is measured for the transport of the food and especially for the thermosensitive food. Of course, um, we talk about the transport, but it regards also the, uh, the storage and the distribution of this product. And the main purpose is to ensure the safety and the health of the, uh, of the consumer, of course. Uh, and for that, what is quite important uh, is to provide in real time the information, the data, in order to, to be more precise, to be more reactive, to anticipate any action in case that the temperature is not so correct. Um, if, you, if you are familiar with the cold chain traceability of your experts, you know that one of the key points for this market is the uh, regulation. And if we take the example for the European area, but this is not uh, the, um, the unique area. We have a different type of regulation and certification for the other area. But for the Europe, there are two pillars, which is the EN 12X30 for the for the temperature recorder and the EN7486, which is really focused on the calibration and the periodical verification. And what is quite important and that's why we wanted to have this focus today is with this new EN 12X30 certification, the 2018 edition, the sensor itself can be fully certified. And by this way, you don't have to certify any, any other parts of your solution can be used as a standalone sensor and can be the proof of the certification in order to provide a report to your client. So it's quite important because thanks to that, it's, um, it's something which is more flexible in order to address the cold chain in terms of regulation. And the last thing is about the Bluetooth low energy, so this wireless technology, which is really adapted for this uh, market because it's an open protocol, it's easy to be used, it's easy to be installed. So that means for the, um, in, for all the, um, for instance, for the storage, for the transport, it's quite quick to use this kind of temperature sensor inside the trainer. Um, thanks to the, the low energy of the BLE and thanks to our development, we can offer very long life cycle. So in addition to be really quickly installed, we can use the sensor for very long periods. And the fact that this is an open protocol, a transparent protocol, the, uh, the sensor can be used and can be interfaced with a lot of uh, mobile devices, especially the telematics device or the routers or uh, the, um, the, uh, the tracker, especially the one developed by Tetonica, which will be presented uh, today during this webinar. Now, if you, if you look at the, uh, the uh, product range uh, on our BLE temperature and humidity sensor at ELA Innovation, you can see that we can offer you different type of sensor. Um, please take into account a few um, main uh, characteristics which are the same whatever the other uh, sensor. First, all of them uh, are based upon the 4.2 uh, BLE protocol. All of them are NFC, have NFC chipsets in order to deactivate or activate it to change the settings. All of them 
uh, provide the temperature and sometimes the humidity in real time, but also can record up to 4,000 value uh, in their data logger. Um, and you can download this information through the BLE link with a connected mode. Now, depending on the use cases that you have, we can offer a different type of sensor. For instance, the BlueCoin T is the most compact uh, temperature sensor that we can offer. Um, it will last five years by transmitting every 10 seconds the information, and it can measure the temperature of minus 30 to plus 70. If you want to have a more powerful sensor, we can offer you the Blue T, which will last 20 years, 20 years with a transmission every 10 seconds, and can measure the temperature from minus 40 to plus 85. If you want to have the temperature plus the humidity, we can offer the Blue Plug RHT. And if you want to have the European market in order to be compliant with the EN 12X30 certification, of course, we can provide you the Blue Plug EN 12X30, which, in addition of the characteristic offered by the Blue Plug can give you the fact that the NFC link, the PLE link can be secure. This is a requirement from the standards. Uh, all the um, values which are recorded or timestamp, and you have the possibility also to lower the calibration coefficient inside the sensor in order that the sensor can calculate uh, the uh, corrected information. And the last point or the last product, uh, especially for uh, our current situation that we have with the COVID 19, is a Blue Puck T probe, the new one which has been introduced. Uh, beginning of this year, and let me present this new sensor in details. So the Blue Pack T Prom, the, the main uh, the main characteristic of the following: the first is the extended temperature range. Thanks to this Blue Pack T Prom, you can monitor the temperature from minus 80 degree to plus 200 degree. So by this way, you can see that we can address the requirement of specific vaccine like uh, the Pfizer one, the Moderna ones, which require to be monitored at between minus 70 and minus 80 degrees. This sensor is also EN Traversity certified. This sensor has also a three-point calibration from in, down in our factory with individual reports. So you can get this sensor for this specific um, call chain traceability and everything has been done and it's kind of playing in place sensor. The external probe that you can use in order to be the closest possible to the measure the point that you want to measure is the length is one meter. Of course, you have 4,000 uh, temperature which has been which could be recorded. Um, the life cycle for uh, this sensor is 15 years, so it's quite uh, quite long um, for um, for this uh, this market. Uh, a point that we um, I didn't highlight in the, in the previous slide, but it, which is true for all the sensor. Of course, we uh, manage the over the year um, field upgrade, so the OTAP process for uh, all our sensors, so you can. Uh, you can remotely uh, upgrade the, uh, the firmware of the sensor if, uh, if needed during, uh, during the life of uh, this sensor. Our, our sensor is uh, developed in industrial casing. So this is IP68 for the external probe and IP65 for the, um, uh, for the housing. So uh, fully waterproof. Uh, on the picture, at the, I would say at the right of the sensor, you can see that we can offer you also uh, mounting accessories, very powerful sticker or uh, an order, depending on how you want to install that inside the trailer or inside the boxes and so on. And the last point that we um, we want to just to uh, to present with or to introduce is the fact that. We can also um, provide customized configuration uh, services, which consist of configuring with your parameters the, uh, the sensor in our factory, in order that you can receive the sensor 100% uh, at the image that you want. So this is the, uh, the new Blue Pack T-Prop that we introduced. 
And now let me um, uh, let, let my colleague from Tectonica present uh, their solution combined with our sensor. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Did you know, according to the World Health Organization reports, over 50% of the vaccines distributed around the world go to waste? And that is a tremendous issue, causing thousands of lost lives, lost resources, lost trust in health systems and credibility of government actions. But in every challenge lives a greater opportunity. Today, we will go through a use case called vaccine distribution. You will learn about safe and rapid vaccine transportation in the specific temperature range importance and the challenges logistics, delivery services, and pharmaceutical companies are facing. Uh, three Teltonica solutions to it and the key benefits of each of them. The challenge. Transporting vaccines safely and swiftly is as important as the development and manufacturing processes. But if a waste is so huge, what makes them such a sensitive cargo? So firstly, it is the temperature that vaccines must be stored at. It can range from 2 to 8 degrees Celsius up to ultra-cold minus 80 degrees Celsius, depending on a specific drug. If temperature controls fail, vaccines spoil, and all efforts to deliver them to the needed are in vain. Secondly, managing hundreds of millions of doses in transit is another tremendous challenge. But thanks to the unprecedented situation today, the amounts are enormous. Thus, careful transportation planning and robust monitoring capabilities are required to ensure effective logistics. And finally, vaccines are needed by people in very diverse places, including remote and hard to reach locations. So all this raises the risk that precious cargo might not safely reach its final destination, not excluding the danger of thefts either. Let's start with the solution number one, using wired vehicle GPS trackers. Challenges with distributing vaccines are many, and Teltonica Telematics is ready to offer solutions to meet them aptly. Among a wide range of tracking devices, FMC130 is one of the finest choices for the industries involved in delivering immunization supplies. The advanced 4G LTE GPS tracker has a fallback to 3G and 2G networks accordingly, granting the best possible coverage and very reliable connectivity. Teltonica tracker support Bluetooth 4 technology, which is the key in ensuring that its required temperatures are maintained throughout the entire time while vaccines, including COVID-19 ones, are being transported. Our devices provide accurate location-based information with many additional data to make wise and appropriate decisions. For instance, can bus data readings such as mileage, engine faults, fuel level, engine hours, etc. to improve fleet ma management, its efficiency, safety, and ensure environmental responsibility. The ultimate goal is precise and timely deliveries even taking into account the massive scale and urgency of the COVID-19 vaccines logistics operations. Teltonica anti theft solution effectively prevents package losses by combining a GPS tracker with a CAN control adapter. It is perfect for delivery services and can be applied with the great results when distributing vaccines too. The topology. Let's take a closer look at the vaccine distribution scenario. Here, Teltonica GPS tracker, FMC130, CAN adapter, and Bluetooth low energy sensors manufactured by ELA Innovations are installed in a refrigerator truck delivering vaccines. The tracker provides accurate location based information with many additional data to make the right decisions. Changes and adjustments can be implemented on the go to optimize routes, prevent delays, and solve unforeseen situations. Using Bluetooth technology, uh, the GPS device is connected with the BLE temperature sensors, constantly monitoring cargo temperature. Certain BLE sensors, for example, ELA Blue Park T probe, equipped with the external probes, can monitor as low as minus 80 degrees Celsius temperature, this way meeting even the most stringent requirements 
for the supply chain. With the help of the GPS tracker and can adapt a combo, fleet maintenance can be turned into an automated process making sure that vehicles are kept in a proper condition to prevent unexpected breakdowns causing delays or serious disruptions. And the alarm button here is another measure that is substantially increases the safety of both drivers and precious cargo. The benefits. Firstly, precise temperature monitoring up to minus 80, minus 80 degrees Celsius, making vaccines in controlled temperatures until their final destination. Secondly, effective logistics and distribution, making sure vaccines reach billions of people in time and save lives across the world, including remote and hard to reach places. Next, safe and reliable deliveries, preventing thefts and enabling informed decisions in unforeseen situations. Timely fleet maintenance and service, keeping vehicles in a good condition to avoid irregularities in supply chains. And finally, effortless inclusion of BLE sensors, adding temperature monitoring functionalities easily and swiftly for the current users of our telematic solutions. And the next is a smart autonomous solutions. Osmandas, please take it over. Good morning. Thank you, uh, Dangus, for, for your presentation. Uh, here is a second solution from Teltonica using autonomous GPS trackers. So complementary to our colleagues presented vaccines distribution solution, Teltonica Smart Autonomous Solutions offers a secure solution for regional and last mile delivery. Local and regional cold chain deliveries require a fast and flexible monitoring solution that could be easily and immediately deployed. A safe and reliable vaccines delivery can be achieved with our Teltonica Mini Tracker Easy, which is autonomous tracker with GNSS, GSM, and Bluetooth connectivity. It's a perfect choice for regional and last mile vaccines deliveries because of wireless and easy installation qualities that ensure that convenient and fast mounting and setup that can be performed manually in just a few minutes. Our Teltonica Mini Tracker easily allows tracking each box simultaneously to ensure stability and flexibility. In case of theft, if a single box is removed from the van, our tracker will send instant notifications with live location information. Also, each box is monitored and for temperature increase, decrease, or sudden drop, which helps to take full control of your vulnerable goods. goods. Regional deliveries require more flexibility where each box of vaccine might need a versatile moving, be replaced in some ones or left at the particular, particular location. The device ensures the connect, connection and temperature monitoring rem, remain stable in case one box is moved from the, one van to another or is unexpectedly left at the, at the distribution center. Let's take a look at the topology slide. Uh, the vaccine delivery solution is accustomed to, the, to domestic needs, where the vaccines are transported from the regional distribution centers to hospitals, medical clinics, or rest homes. Regional delivery takes less time, while once a smaller capacity are utilized for shorter distance movement. Our small Small and convenient mini tracker serves as an ideal solution for the purpose. Depending on the configuration, the unit would be able to send re regular updates of the current location and condition of the shipment for a day. In the present case, the tracker is complemented by a ELA Bluepook T probe sensor with a temperature range from minus 80 to 200 degrees. With real-time tracking software in place, the user would get instant notifications about sudden degrees or, or decrease in temperature. Benefits slide. Uh, the benefits. Firstly, precise monitoring up to minus 80. The ability to track each box separately and, and ensure temperature monitoring during the delivery. Secondly, an instant solution for the last mile delivery allows to have flexibility and ensure easy setup and control. Tracking separate boxes allows to 
controlling each box to ensure both connection and temperature monitoring. Finally, full control solution of valuable assets provides a con you continuous monitoring and instant notification in case of a loss, drop, or temperature changes. Next is my colleague from Teltonica Network Solution, Tadas. Please take it over. Thank you. Uh, my colleague showed and explained in detail about the challenges and how Ella and Teltonica devices could solve them. If you have any questions, please write them in questions section. Teltonica Networks offers industrial networking equipment, modems, gateways, routers, and switches. Working closely with our customers continuously, we are adding new functionalities or even new products. We have been working closely with Ella too so that our secure and reliable devices with Bluetooth connectivity capabilities would expand IoT solutions to our partners. With one of our most powerful industrial cellular router, RUTX11, mobile vaccination facilities could be functional in no time and in any place. So there is no need uh, for any landline internet connection preparation. 4G LT CAT6 cellular router with dual SIM functionality and four gigabit ethernet ports allows you to have redundancy between two mobile operators with auto failover, backup van, and other switching scenarios. Root X11 plays a significant role in our wide product portfolio. Our device is capable to be connected to up to 200 Bluetooth beacons and sensors. It comes with pre-configured firewall and it is ready to use straight away out of the box. Topology. Talking about vaccines and vaccinization, uh, please could be, could you back back to topology? Thank you. <laughs> I would like to share a topology for mobile immunization units, as hospitals are still incredibly busy due to this global situation. We believe that mobile vaccination units could solve and already are solving a lot of issues and speed up the immunization process. The principle is very very similar to the drive-through testing posts. The unit can be quickly set up almost anywhere, even in rural areas, and it just requires very low resources on staff. The process is quite simple. First, the thermal camera measures the temperature of the patient. Given they do not have a fever, the medical staff can proceed with vaccination and update their medical file using the network connection provided by our Root X11. This device is perfect for uh, the solution as it provides wired and Wi-Fi connectivity for the equipment inside the unit. But it also offers dual SIM functionality for network redundancy. Essentially, using the LTE network makes this solution very mobile, quick to deploy, and incredibly reliable. As the vaccines have to be stored in fridges and the temperatures has to be maintained at all times, LS sensors are connected to the router with the help of Bluetooth. Then the router sends uh, this data to the IoT platform by using MQTT protocol so that you could be notified if there is something wrong with the temperature or even with the whole solution. Lastly, it is a highly secure device. Our devices have been implemented in other security sensitive areas like financial sector or even armed forces. So solution provider could configure highly secure VPN channels with the headquarters so that data of the patients would not be compromised. So benefits, uh, the key benefits of the security is the security of the full solution. Rutix 11, as all our devices are compliant with the highest security standards. Dual SIM functionality provides redundancy between different connectivity providers if they are wired or mobile. Our own remote management system helps IT support engineers to connect not only to the Teltonica router itself, but they can connect to the other smart devices connected to the router and help with any problems which could occur at any time of the day or night. And of course, the easy and fast setup of such vaccination facilities are extremely important to the fulfilling the needs of the public. So why choose Teltonica? Teltonica is the one of the leading manufacturers in the IoT industry worldwide, offers solutions to meet the most demanding needs that currently exist, including the transplantation and distribution of the COVID-19 and other life-saving vaccines. 
our over 100 top quality products, accessories, and solutions range will create new business opportunities, new projects, competitive edge, and will help to expand into the new profitable markets. We are very pleased to offer you our expertise and innovative approach, extensive global market knowledge, exemplary products quality made in staff of art and certified production facilities with automated robotic assembly lines. VIP help desk and customer support meeting our expectations give us a competitive edge and make Teltonica a business partner of choice. So thank you for attention. Willy, please take it over. Thank you. Thank you all of you for this uh, free presentation. Um, so we, we spent 30 minutes to, um, to present uh, this webinar and the different solution from ELA uh, Innovation and Tectonica. So just to, uh, to summarize very, very briefly, um, so what you, um, you could see is at ELA Innovation side, we can offer you a large range of wireless temperature and humidity sensor uh, through the Bluetooth low energy technology. So this uh, take into account that all these sensors are already dedicated for your industrial application for the cold centrality with industrial performances in terms of life cycle, in terms of range, in terms of uh, casing and uh, mechanical performances like the IP68 uh, waterproof level, and of course, in terms of certification uh, for the European certification, but also all the equivalents that we can have in the world. So the, the idea with this range is really to give you the best, the most appropriate sensor depending on your use case. Associated to this uh, range of uh, temperature and humidity sensor, you had the possibility to see uh, one of the widest range of IoT device offered by uh, Teltonica. So uh, for the telematics market, for the uh, autonomous solution with the asset tracker or for the networks management. So Bales opened this uh, very incredible range of product that they have on the IoT market. They can fit uh, the most of the, uh, the architecture of the solution and the most of the industrial IoT application for the cold chain traceability. And what um, looks to be really important for us was to show you the integration between ELA Innovation and Teltonica, because this is really an added value for um, your project for the way of addressing uh, the, uh, the market of the cold chain traceability with the effort that Tectonica and ELA Innovation did in the past, uh, for the past years, in terms of software in, in hardware integration. In order that you have a kind of standalone vendor of products, uh, a kind of plug and play couple of products in order to fit uh, this application and to minimize your time to market, because we know that the time is quite important in the uh, IoT, uh, IoT world. And by this way, you can focus on your core business, which is how to collect, how to treat and to manage and to display the data. And you don't have to focus on the hour part on what we did the, the, the job. So this is this, um, I would say, this integration that we wanted to present. And in addition of that, just to open the, uh, the discussion, please also keep in mind that in addition to the temperature and the humidity sensor, we have the possibility also to offer you also type of sensor which could address other needs around the, um, I would say, around the cold chain traceability. For instance, on the next slide, you can see different type of um, either sensor or beacons. Uh, we have magnetic sensor for the anti self solution. So this is usually linked with the cold chain traceability in order to see uh, if the door of the trailer has been opened or not, which could explain why the temperature uh, uh, is, um, is increasing or not, for instance. We have identification beacons, especially for the trailer or for the trucks or for the driver. We have motion sensor, which can detect vibration, movement, but also angle. 
So that's why it can be used for the uh, Edward dumpster in terms of uh, measurement. And just as an example, we have in terms of roadmap, we have a new sensor which will be introduced in uh, humans uh, during the summer, which is a proximity sensor in order to detect the presence of any equipment. So this sensor, for instance, could be used for the airport solution management in order to detect if a ULD container is present on the trolley or not. So by this way, it was just a batch of sensors to show you that uh, with ELA Innovation and with Tectonica, our partner, we can provide you a combination of sensor, a combination of beacons and uh, mobile equipment in order to fit your project. Thanks so much for your attention. I hope that has been uh, useful for you. You can contact us at ELA Innovation side and Tetanica side with the different contact information that you can see here for uh, any, uh, any question or any information regarding your projects. And now, if you, if you want, we have a few minutes um, to spend in order to answer your, uh, your question. Thanks a lot. Thank you uh, to all our speakers. Um, so let's have a look to the questions. Uh, we have. So, first of all, um, the first question is, what's uh, the range for uh, PUG-T probe with obstacles and in open field? Okay. So I think um, for you. Yeah, yeah, I will. Uh, um, I already uh, uh, drop a, a quick message in order to answer, but uh, I, can, uh, I can provide this answer also. Um, the question is very, very good, and uh, this is, um, I would say, a question which is uh, applicable for all the BLE sensors, all, uh, all the BLE beacons. Um, for our Blue Puck t prob and let's say for our Blue Puck uh, family, um, the uh, open field uh, range that we, we measure is 500 meters, so this is really in open field, in test condition, without any obstacle, uh, with uh, the optimum condition. And by this way, you can see with the 4.2 uh, BLE um, uh, version, we can go up to 500 meters. Now, the, the key question is, what is the real range when this sensor is used in real condition? And this is quite difficult to have a, a unique answer. The, um, it's really depending on the environment. Uh, if we are talking about warehouse, factory, traders, it's depending about the performance of the equipment would be receive the, um, the BLE frame. So um, it shows that there is a, a, a wide diversity of the performances, but just as an indication, uh, the blue pack um, sensor has been uh, have been deployed, of course, in uh, in different uh, environment like factory with EV EV metallic equipment, and in this case, uh, the um, the range has been measured at uh, roughly 80 meters. So it, just to give you an indication, to see how the BLE, which works on 2.4 gigahertz, can be um, can be fluctuating depending on the environment. Okay, thank you, Willy. Um, so question um, is, uh, can you define how the instant notifications works, SMS or via uh, listeners? So maybe I think it's a good question for um, for Deltonica. I don't know if uh, Smondas can answer this question. Yes, I, I already commented for this. So. so. Uh, our trackers, not from only smart autonomous solutions, but from from telematics and, and networking, are connected to the Bluetooth uh, LS sensor. So, so we can we can take all the information and send via internet. So, uh, yes. So about SMS, I'm not sure about. Uh, is it possible? If needed, it's 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 possible to to speak why, and uh, to do something. So. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question uh, is, is it possible to increase the BLE emits period uh, since, since the maximum period allowed uh, now in only 10 seconds, which could be uh, not suitable for some application? 
I think it's a good question for Willy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and thanks again for this uh, good question because it, it, it's clear that it could be um, um, amazing that we have to transmit every 10 seconds. Please take into account that this is, uh, um, let's say, the, uh, the Bluetooth uh, requirement or a requirement for the Bluetooth consumption that uh, um, a BLE sensor or BLE beacon has to transmit at the maximum every 10 seconds in order to be broadcastable. Um, it, was, it was a requirement defined in the past, it's a long time, um, but there is a, a, a modification regarding the, uh, the, the standard of that and um, we, uh, we have a new firmware version which will be introduced uh, in, in July which will give you the possibility to adjust that in order to extend this BLE period. So you will have the possibility uh, not to be at every 10 seconds, but if you want to be at every minute or every 10 minutes or every hour, depending on, on the use case. But you have also to, um, to keep in mind that um, depending on the use case, uh, you have to uh, to see how the reading device can detect at each time the, uh, the BLE sensor or the BLE beacon in terms of frame. But it will be possible, today it's uh, every 10 seconds, but even with every 10 seconds, you can see that the, uh, the life cycle of our sensor is not jeopardized. Okay, thank you, Willy. Um, I think uh, we have the last question. Um, what uh, I think it, it maybe it's a question also for Willy, but I don't know. Um, what, uh, what about old BLE? Uh, can they upgrade the firmware to accept more than 10 minutes? So I think Willy uh, just uh, answered the question, but um, I don't know if you want to clarif clarify some. Okay, okay. yes. Um, <clears throat> in fact, um, the um, not sure. I will try to answer this, this question. Uh, uh, as you see in the presentation, um, all our uh, current uh, BLE sensor, uh, not only the Group LT plot, but uh, all the uh, temperature and humidity sensor and all the range of our BLE, um, ensure the over-the-air uh, process or over-the-air feature in terms of firmware. So this is possible since uh, what we call the uh, B300 firmware version which has been uh, introduced um, a few months ago. And so uh, depending on the, uh, the BLE center that you may have from uh, EL Innovation, you can or not apply this uh, OTAP or TAP uh, process. And, uh, and by this way, when the new firmware will be released, um, Halloween to have uh, emitting periods more than 10 seconds, 10 minutes or one hour, you will have the possibility to upgrade the, uh, the current uh, sensor. So it will be possible, and this is the benefit of the uh, OTAP process. Okay. Um, okay, thank you. I think yeah. uh, I think it will be good for today. Um, if you have any questions further, um, please feel free to ask them by email. Uh, by using the, the different context uh, information you have on these slides. And um, a quick reminder, you, you can find the, the webinar uh, recording on our website and our, our YouTube channel uh, after the, the session of today. So um, if you want to, to share with some colleagues or anywhere, um, you, can, you can use uh, the YouTube channel or uh, you can use uh, our website. Um, thank you to all the speakers uh, for the presentation. Um, and uh, now I think we can uh, close this uh, webinar. Okay, thanks Thanks so much for your attention. Thanks to our technical partner for the presentation and this webinar organization. Thanks a lot, bye-bye. Thank you, bye. Have a good day. Bye.